In this video, I'd like to talk about finding angles in congruent triangles. And with this example problem, we will use the different congruence relationships between two triangles to figure out some missing angle. And in this case, we need to find the value of x right here in this figure. And with these problems, it's important to figure out what is the same when we're looking at the two triangles. So notice that they each have a side length of three. They each have a side length of 4.3. And besides that, we're not given any other information relating the two triangles, but we do know two angles in this triangle. And remember that when you know two angles in a triangle, you can always figure out the third. If we call this let's say angle A, little a, since the vertex is big A, then we can set up an equation saying that when we add these three angles together, they're equal to 180 degrees. And from here, we can solve for A. If we add these together and subtract them from 180, we can figure out that A is equal to 66 degrees, which we can mark in. And from here, it might be a little bit tricky how to relate the two triangles since we don't know any of the angle measures in this one. But what we do know is that each of these triangles shares a third side length. This side length here, BC or CB, is the same in both triangles. So these two triangles share three sets of equal sides, which means that we can prove they are congruent by the side, side, side congruence postulate. And from there, we can mark that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle, and here we need to be careful. So we started at this vertex A, we went across the blue line, then to the orange line. So we'll follow the same pattern here. We start, it looks like at D, we go across the blue line and then across the orange line which means this is triangle D, C, B. And from here, the corresponding sides should match up. That's our way to test that we wrote this correctly. A, B should be the same length as D, C. And we can see that we have A, B and D, C or C, D. And also we can see that B, C and C, B, those are equal since that's really just the same line. And lastly, we have AC and DB, and those should be equal, and we can see that AC and DB, those are in fact equal, they're both three. So we wrote this correctly, which can be a little bit challenging at first, but at least you can always test this by making sure the corresponding sides and angles match up, depending on what information you were given. And in this one, we know all the side lengths, which means we can match those up, but sometimes we know the angles. And from writing this correctly, we can figure out which angle should be equal. Since these are congruent triangles, we now know that angle A and angle D, these should be equal. And we know that angle ABC, we need to be more careful now since we can't just use the vertex, since angle B could mean either this one or this one. But we know that angle ABC, is equal to angle D, C, B. We just go in the order and we can see A, B, C, that's this one here. And this is equal to D, C, B, which is this one here, which means this is 53 degrees. And we also know, let me use a darker color, that angle C, B, D is equal to well, we started at C, then B, and then we went back to D, which means this is B, C, A. And we can see that C, B, D, that's this one here, is equal to B, C, A, which is this one here, which makes this 61 degrees. And we already know that angle A and angle D are equal, which means that this one here is also 66 degrees, which answers the question of what that missing value x was in this figure. 